Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode of which of these two missions does not kill me in the first five minutes. <laughs> we're doing, we're doing mercenaries only, and I am doing a little bit of panic because I don't know where to go. So I think that maybe going to Meinhof is the right answer. Trying to figure out how to live and uh, get a little bit closer to that really exciting Viking unlock. The Viking would be really nice to have. So let's give it a go. Hmm. I don't know how long the first day is. I don't know how long the first night is. I, I don't know a lot of things right now. I really, really do not. So we're just gonna start getting rid of these people. Probably wanna get rid of the medics first, but I'm not being good at my job. This is fine. And then we're going to have to start building some fortifications. Wow, this day doesn't last very long. I do have a strategy. I, I have an idea. Let's so, uh, keep building stuff up. See how long we can last. I guess we want to put this right here and this right here. And we're going to get this guy bop a -roonied. Nightfall in but I have I have the ultimate strategy. I thought about this one a little bit, and I was hoping that the answer I came up with was the wrong one. And I don't think it's going to be. I think that it's going to be the right answer, and I don't like it. However, I have played, if you are a longtime viewer aficionado of the channel, then you would know that I've played some weird we stuff on these missions. <laughs> so, uh... We're gonna we're gonna learn from that and oh yeah they're coming <laughs> they sure are coming and we're just gonna bank up a little bit of money for now maybe some gas as well that'll be really nice we do have these Spartan companies available that's gonna be very exciting everything else is just on a normal timer oh that is too many guys isn't it well. Just gotta make sure I have nothing alive. I do not. Colony ship doodad up here. I feel like hey, there should be some sort of benefit for keeping this alive. Like, maybe after every night you, like, get some reinforcements. So it's like, Jim, I sent these for you. It's like, thanks, Doc. I really appreciate the fact that you do those things. Yeah, no problem, Jim. Base yeah, whatever. I don't know. Attack. I've never been a romance writer. <laughs> Neither is Blizzard, so I probably nailed it. Alright, so we're gonna... Wait, where, where are you guys going? That's not... Oh, that's fine. Load them up. Oh, well, that sucks. I wanted to keep ten of them alive, and we're just gonna... We're gonna exist right here. And then we'll figure everything else out at the, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six minute mark. Goodbye. Goodbye, allied civilians. It was good knowing you. I think that you tried really hard, and I'm I'm proud of you. So I don't actually know if infested marines are even a thing during the first night. So we're not losing too much. All that we lost was a mercenary camp, four depots. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I really don't need those. I mean, I do need them in the long term. Actually, I don't even need four depots. But the mercenary camp is going to continue to get its charges because it is a global effect. It actually has nothing to do with the mercenary camp itself. And that means that our first wave of guys... <laughs> well, you're going to have a tough day. So lift that. Try not to burn any of these guys. I got schematics to build them hellions you saw in my Should be good down there. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, there's literally nothing. There's no infested marines, even on Brutal, because I haven't cleared any of the houses. And on this mission, I believe the way that it works is the things that come to murder you are based on the number of houses that you've burned down. Sun's coming up. So we're we doing fine. A Just a weird little mechanic. After they burn to death, we'll be able to go... Uh, frame rate definitely starting to <laughs> starting to drop as more and more infested 
populate these lands. And we're going to want to get that Merc Compound operation instantly so we can start getting the charges. Rise and shine, boys. Okay. Oh, now it's our compound. And honestly, this is kind of nice because we can build our buildings in a nice Bear area. The By the way, this is a fun little thing on this mission. As you can see, we have two different types of gas geysers. One that you start with and one that you don't. Doesn't really matter, but it's cute. Actually, maybe I just want to build bunkers like right here. Maybe I don't want to utilize these chokes. Have everything pulled back and defendable by one group of super soldiers. So this is not where I want to have this, is it? Eh, we'll figure it out. It's not that bad. Okay, P, D, oh, I don't have money. First up is going to be the war pigs because we got to get multiple charges of them. Three whole charges instead of the two for everybody else. And then I guess we're going to want... Oh, I, feel, I just don't have many guys. I'm mining way too much gas. I'm used to going reapers on this mission and can't really do that right now. I also have another interesting idea in my head that I would like to try out. Some sort of nest? Because we don't have that many forces to work with. So what if these don't regenerate, do they? I don't think they do. So how does this mission work if you just don't kill the buildings and you get them really low? And then we kill them all in one fell swoop. I hope it works outstanding. That would be great. Alright, we need to get these Devil Dogs and these Spartan Companies out, but in order to do that we need another depot. I'm really strapped for cash, actually. There's going to be a lot of infested coming our way soon. Let's see what damage we can put on this. And then in about five seconds, we are going to run. Perfect. And I'm just going to hope that we can build up something that doesn't explode us. Oh, guards? What a great idea, Doc. Who would have thought that that would be useful right now? Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that for a while. <laughs> so we go Marine, Marine, Fire Bat on both of those sides. Yeah, I think that's what we want. And then Hammer Security is in the middle. Marine, Marine, Fire Bat. And start getting our Spartan Company whenever we can afford it. And I think that we're going to be able to hold right here without a whole lot of issue. Now I probably need to get an armory and an engineering bay. Make sure everything is patched up so that our guys don't go crazy later with repairing. And we'll go for the engineering bay right over here and the armory right over here. Uh, how do you build an armory? It's a special unit. Er, advanced structure. That's what it's called. Starcraft 2 advanced. And then we have more than 80 seconds left before we can get anyone else, so we can use a little bit of time just make sure everything is working nicely, get these attack upgrades. We have a lot of stuff we can invest in. The Marines are problematic, though, because they're targeting down my SCVs, of which I don't have very many. We have to target these down. Yeah, we're just not doing a whole lot of damage. We don't have many forces available. You're going to stick over here, right? Cool. Uh, pull the factory back for a bit. I don't know. Maybe we'll put it right here. That's a lot of infested marines. Gonna target down right over here. And they're going for the SCVs again. That is the brutal AI being brutal. But we're alive. And I think that is the last big painful wave for quite some time. We have another set of war pigs available. However, I'm not sure if I can afford them currently. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to save up for it.
Yeah, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. They stopped being able to hit us for a while. We didn't have to spend any money on repairs. We're gonna be able to get more bunkers to defend. Just try to do my best in targeting these down. Oh, that is a lot of infested. Well, please don't die. Cool. Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. I'm actually not going to bring the devil dogs. I'm a little bit afraid for them. Oh, I just want to have the Goliaths in the front, soaking the hits, so they can come back and repair later. Oh, I can't lift the eBay. I've been playing StarCraft 1, and in my head, I was like, I can just lift that eBay later. Oh, no, I can't. That's not good. I like this system, though, of just bringing everything low. I don't know how many nights it's going to take to actually bust through everything, but I'm hoping we'll be able to do it pretty cleanly. We do have another set of Devil Dogs available. We have another set of Hammer Securities available. They're going to be the last set, so we don't have to get them right now. Instead, I'm focusing on getting more workers out. Good thing these don't burn down. They're fake on fire. Because everybody knows that Creep is fireproof. And these are all covered in Creep. I don't have my Merc compound hockeyed. Probably need to do that. And then get a armor and an armor if at all possible. The first one doesn't matter that much. I don't remember what the thresholds are, but I think Mindhawk told me them at one point. And for some reason, the number 114 is in my head. But I don't know if that is a actual number or if it's just me making things up. It's probably the second because I'm just that kind of guy. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm imperfect and more importantly, incompetent. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Bring everything back home. Well, we have a lot of repair money. I'm gonna go four and four. Fire bat, fire bat. Spartans in the back. I guess Marauders over here. Oh, we don't have enough room. Oh, can we not? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's sell that for a bit. These guys have to be safe. We cannot lose them. Get another Spartan Company set. Cannot afford them. However, this area will get broken open eventually. We have a lot more damage this time, though. Because we have the attack upgrade, we have more war pigs in the bunkers, and they're the big damage dealers. And then hopefully we're slowing them down with the concussive shells that I don't know if we have. Yeah, we do. Perfect. The concussive shells are not going to be great right now, but later on, when more and more of the aberrations come, they'll be pretty good. The aberration, I think, is actually light in this. So, no, it's light in the next mission. Oh, I don't remember. It's weird. However, even if the aberration isn't perfect against it, it'll be nice for that high damage to overcome the armor, even if it's not armored. Duh, thank you, Starcraft, for being weird. And we just have to play the game of target firing all the spooky stuff. I think at this point... Take these two guys off. We have more war pigs that we can put inside of a bunk. Maybe a fallback bunk. All the rest of the stuff just down here. And we have the biggest army we're ever going to get. We haven't lost a single merc. Uh, maybe I'll bust open this armory next time. That's not a bad idea. And I feel like it's at the end of this night. At some point, these debris get open. And I think that it's not always based on when you kill buildings. I think there's multiple triggers, but I could be making that up. 
because this mission is weird in that it's one of the ones that has its own co-op version, right? And the co-op versions do their own thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's that they just didn't look at the base code to figure out how stuff worked, or if they needed to change it for various gameplay reasons, or something like that. However, yeah, it's just completely different. And that's going to be a lot of damage. Here's the aberrations. The aberrations are light. Yeah, okay. So they don't take extra damage from the hammers, but they still need to be blasted. And the fire bat's actually in a great position to do that. Um, this is a lot. Best to go down. A couple of these over. Two, one. We're done. Oh, Let's go. Yes, this is gonna be our time, all right. Go, 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 go. Maybe I want to start busting some buildings this time. I think so. We have enough DPS that we can do that. We don't want to have these fighting though. So maybe we'll put like one here. This guy was taking some serious damage. And we'll rebuild the bunker right here in order to make things work out. I believe that we are killing all the broodlings before they get to us. That is perfect. The concussive shell slows them down. The marines and the Spartan companies have more than enough damage to deal with it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We need an engineering bay so that I can get a turret. So we can do the bonus objective. This better be good. And this is nice. This is really nice. The clear speed is not bad. It's not like superb or anything, but we're banking up a lot of money. We have the ability to probably in three nights take things down. As long as we hold this area for last, we'll do the really hard bits where lots of stuff is spawning rapidly. I don't even think that I want more SCVs or anything. I'm going to sell this. Uh, it's a turret. Let's get a new sensor tower. Sensor tower is just a nice to have. Got 45 seconds. So I'm going to move here and start taking some stuff out. Just as we wait for the bonus. 120. Well, if the number in my head is correct, and it is 114, then 120 is actually a really good remnant number. Because we won't trigger the next threshold of painful stuff. Hammer securities, hammer securities. Spartans behind. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. And it's mostly just try to fit all these war pigs in because war pig is the MVP bunker unit. It really, really is. Oh, hello. Don't leave me hanging. Just go ahead. I can see stuff incoming. We have everything split. We have so much money in the bank that we're going to be okay. Even when this eventually runs out of cash, we'll have basically infinity repair money forever. And this is exactly as many bunkers as we need. Save this guy. Though I kind of do want to build... One or two bunkers behind just as a retreat path in case things get bad. And these Spartan Company are going to be able to patrol back and forth and hold things off. Or we're just going to melt through everything with our insane DPS. This is actually quite good. These are going to be good against the infested Marines specifically because they have a pretty good amount of range. Seven range because we got that upgrade. Taking everything down. Oh, I thought this mission was going to destroy me. I still don't think that we are in the clear perfectly, but I thought this was going to be the first one that just, like, made me want to cry. And I'm not crying yet. Yeah. Okay. This is actually way easier than the previous night. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> so I want to think about clearing. I think I want to clear this area up here and then go down. And then maybe this stuff here. 
because over here is a bunch of spines and that's where I want to fight last now that I think about it not the top we'll do the top right before that but the spines are going to make it so that we can take down or rather we're going to take a lot of damage on the spines we're going to have to be careful bringing Spartan companies with SCVs but we also have to be quick so I want to do that as one segment and maybe this during this night this during the night after and then this which will bring us up to seven nights but seven nights is not the end of the world we simply don't have a lot of damage output that is one of the things about mercenaries they're very well statted but when you don't have very many of them this is the highest HP objective in the game right because there is 140 some objectives or something like oh my goodness good golly just make sure that we're targeting down all of those as best of our ability. I was going over there. Pretty decent. One of those bunkers is in a position I don't like. Okay. But we help. Find some infested areas to clear. Ready to roast. You guys better. over there. Everyone else, let's head up to the top. Oh, we only have two minutes for clearing. I'm gonna start building the turret over here. And we're gonna go, go, go. 6,000 in the bank. This is great. That's actually, like, the most important thing, is just having so much money available that we can play the endurance game. I don't want to have to move over here. This is something that I've had to do in previous insane runs, like on Nightmare. We had to eventually up, uproot ourselves and move to this top right hand corner if we can avoid that we can avoid a lot of suffering it's just it's a very long way to the bottom area of the map when you do it that way and that means that you have less and less daytime being situated in the center means that no matter where you want to go radially you're going to be about equidistant which is very important So we have a minute and five seconds left. I'm actually clearing slower than I had anticipated, and that is scary to me. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better we might need the next four one. nights. Yes, I'm hoping not. Because <laughs> it's 140 ish buildings to start with, right? And that means that we're getting like slightly over 20 per clear? Nightfall in 30 seconds. Okay. Sure. Should have waited for plus two. Has anyone ever done this mission with like a banshee before? Is it just stupid? It seems like this would be the easiest mission ever if you had a banshee, but I've never, never been able to justify stalling that long. <gasps> no, not my missile turret. <laughs> I just wanted to detect. Rest in peace, Mr. Missile Turret. Okay. I don't actually like these. I tried them out, but they kind of mess with the moving around just a little bit in a way that I'm not a fan of. So, put these guys over. To, it's kind of weird having the hammer securities in the middle. I just don't have a better place to put them. Because I think that the brunt of the pressure comes from the sides. This night's not very long. It's only three minutes and some. Hmm. Was the first night, like, really long in comparison? Or are they always, like, three minutes and 30 seconds? I should pay attention to that. I felt like the first night was, like, four minutes long. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm probably saying really dumb stuff right now. <laughs> Everyone is like, Grant, everybody knows that there's a linearly decreasing amount of time in every single one of the nights based on the number of houses you get. I don't know, man. These aren't the things that I know. I know how to micromarine, and I know how to eat hot hellion and lie. 
But there's no Hellion today. There's only Devil Dog. Devil Dogs do sound kind of delicious, though, let's be honest. Base is under attack. It's like you go to the stadium, and, you know, you're not, you're not there for any quality food, so you get the Devil Dog instead, and... You have a fun time at the game, and then you regret it for the next, like, eight hours afterwards as it gives you terrible, terrible stomach cramps. That is exactly what I think the Devil Dog would be, and I'm all for it. I don't actually go to sporting games because I find them, uh, filled with commercials. I know that they're not in real life, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't like the pacing because all the pacing for sporting events is designed around commercials in mind. As opposed to Twitch, which just shoves commercials down your face in the middle of it. Like, during the best part, because they're a great company. And this is why we're on YouTube, and this is why I told everybody to use Adblock. Please do. I, did you see that guy? He did, like... I, I, I don't know ballet, but I'm going to declare that he did a pirouette. It wasn't one, but if he, he's, he's the fanciest infested I've ever seen. He did a, like, swoop de whoop -dee. That was so cool. <laughs> what, what what is the Hyperion crew's favorite ballet Swan Lake <laughs> oh I'm losing it let's go oh Dicus you're such a fool we're going to build our missile turret for detection only because there's no air units on this mission. But it's uh, slightly easier than just leaving a guy over there. Or The reality is if I didn't build the turret, what I would do is I would sit on one building for the night, have the guys pop up, and then take them out. And that's just boring. So I know it's technically a don't do that type maneuver because it's not a mercenary, but I'm sure you all understand. It's not giving me true combat benefit. Also, that spine hurt. My goodness. Hey, build it. Ooh. I didn't remember where all these spines were. In fact, I still don't. I'm gonna clear forward until about... I don't know, a minute remains? Just take down what we can. This has a lot of HP. Alright, this sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. Perfect. And now we're gonna pull back and we're gonna take all this down. You're gonna head home. I'm gonna keep some of these guys off because having less SCVs to repair is weirdly better in many ways because of the way that over repair works in StarCraft. For example, if you have 10 guys that are all repairing something, there is a minimum amount of money that they spend on repairing, even if they only repair a single hit point each. So you can go broke if you have too many repair guys. You want to have the minimum number that properly keeps your stuff alive. 78. It's probably going to take two days to get through all of this. Maybe one and a half, and then in the other half day, we can just go up here and clear everything in a blisteringly fast eyes, fashion. There's gonna be more of them out there. Armed and ready. I think that that is the realistic job, look at huh? things. Been on you. Who wants some? Also, I believe that we're going to be hit by significantly more aberrationness now. Which, uh, yeah, sources you. tell me that's not the best because they allow the other guys to actually make melee contact and the other guys they hit for like 12 it's a significant amount of damage the only reason that they don't really add up as much most of the time is because of the fact that they can't make any contact but if they're being tanked then they kind of get overwhelming This is very repetitive, by the way. I completely understand. I apologize for anybody who's like, okay, Grant, we've seen you do the same defense 16 times in a row. <laughs> I'm trying, my dude. I really am. It's, as we're learning, it is a very reliable defense. If you're ever having issues on this mission, 
I mean, obviously the answer is bunker, 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 bunker armory. <laughs> it's just, it's unbeatable. Push that off. And then we chill. If we can get all of this down in the span... No, there's no way. I'm just trying to think of it logically, but... The base over here actually goes pretty deep. Oh my. Oh my. Oh no, 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 no. We hold them. Bring a couple guys up to help. We hold them. They, this is bad. I am, I'm going to sell this one this time and I'm going to move it slightly up so that this doesn't happen again. The surface area to volume ratio is bad and causing a lot of problems wait it's not a surface area to volume ratio you know what I mean it's in a corner there's not enough repair area and the, I guess it's surface area to, to ouchy ratio because they're getting hurt that's a scientific ratio it's peer reviewed I'm the peer, and I reviewed that it really hurts to have a bunker in that position, and I don't advise it. This guy coming around the mountain. Nice. Daybreak in 30 seconds. Finish off the ab. Another aberration on this side. One thing that's nice about leaving this area alive is that infested t still come from down here. If I had taken this out and there was, like, more over here, it would just be more pressure on the same bunkers. And I would much prefer to have light pressure on a bunch of bunkers Gotta than heavy pressure payback. on less bunkers. Even if the freaks. light pressure ends up taking more boys. total damage. It's just easier to manage. What's going on? Yo, been waiting on you. So we want you in the front. Oh, you're not supposed to be here. I thought I did really well with not getting the firebats out this time, and then I objectively failed. Okay. We have... I'm gonna... I'm gonna play it a little risky this time with my clearing, because they're not gonna be able to catch me when I'm running back. Right? It seems logical. And I am a man of facts and science. So, I'm going to use the logic even though I'm full of fear. This guy's forward. As long as they're soaking the shots, the problem is knots. Not Don knots, though. Who is... Okay. I have to talk about Don knots a little bit. Don knots is apparently an actor who played like a deputy of someone in a old... Uh, I think it was a Western TV show. However, the only reason I know him is because he, like, guest star starred on Scooby-Doo, like, 863,247 times. I don't know if anyone else, like, <laughs> just is aware of Don Knotts as a person, not because of anything useful he's done in his life, just the fact that he was advertised as a guest star, star on Scooby-Doo episodes. He also had a really weird voice, and was like, Whoa, guys! He, he kind of could have been a YouTuber now that I think about it. If you're looking for some homework, go Google Don Knotts <laughs> and tell me that he does not have the voice that he could be, like, a YouTuber. One of those really obnoxious ones. Because he totally could have been. He was actually ahead of his time. What do we do? Put this right here, and then get this to land. Oh no! We're too late. Run back to the ramparts. We must defend. I'm going to get so many messages from people who are like, Don Knotts was my favorite actor, and I, I don't like that you're making fun of him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you uh, Knotts heads. I, I know that he was a very important and integral part of your childhood because you love the episodes of Scooby-Doo that he was on, but listen, I am... 
at this point, I'm having a little bit of a breakdown. I Life has become an infinitely repeating sessions of two and a half minutes of day and night. And I am... I'm here. So they're going to put a little bit of fire on this barracks, but that's not actually bad. Because they will never... What was that? The guy just, like, decided he didn't want to fight. It's like, no, I am a pacifist. And then he decides to come and murder us. So a little bit of damage will come over here, but we have a lot of surface area on most of these bunkers now. And they're never going to commit onto the barracks. And even if they commit onto the barracks, I do not care. It's just a barracks. I can build another. 61 structures remaining. Yeah, we can get this whole area next time. That'll be phenomenal. And then it'll just be blowing all these up rapid fire. It's all about dealing with the aberrations. Now, I'm trying to think about where I get to go next. I do not have... I don't think that I'm going to be able to go anywhere except for the Great Train Robbery, right? Because the dig requires eight missions. I'm not sure how many we've done, actually, now that I think about it. We did the first three off camera. Then we did Evacuation, Smash and Grab, that's four, five. We did Devil's Playground, which is six. We did uh, the Goliath mission, which is seven. So this one's actually eight. So we can go to the dig and lose... Or we can go to the Great Train Robbery and try to rob some trains. Um, so this is a bit of a a bit of a fun question. How how are we gonna do the dig? <laughs> do I get to use the drill? Because there's no way this is possible without the drill. The drill seems reasonable. So the argue I would make on the drill is that the drill is like you have to use the drill either way. If you are using it against the door, you are using it to end the mission earlier. And if you're not using it against the door, then you are using it against the Protoss. But both of those are using the drill, so you don't really have a choice. Oh, can we not get out of there? That's unfortunate. Alright. I thought that I had a really good setup. So I think that I'm going to rule that using the drill is okay because, I mean, look at me. <laughs> This sure. isn't... This, it's not a lot of stuff. <laughs> it turns out that mission's actually quite difficult. <laughs> I'm sure that many of you guys have had, at times in your life, problems on the dig. I sure have. Basically, every time that I try to do something, I wake up in, in like a screaming fit of terror because I'm imagining the pain of the dig. move forward. This is where we are going to potentially lose our first Spartan. No! Nice. I knew that was going to be a tough engagement, and I'm happy the way that it ended up. Are there any more spines over here? There are not. There's one on this side, and I think that's it for the spine crawlers. Which means things are going to be easier and easier to deal with then. I have to be careful with these infantry. And once again, I'm going to be very bold with how long I stay out. This is definitely the I was heading home before curfew, please don't get mad at me, mom. Strat. It's definitely not the I was home at curfew. I had no intention of that. He's down. Base is gone. I'm not detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to poke the bear on anything here. Looking forward to it. So if we kill up here, this is all gone. We can take this down, move over here, take this down. Any minute now. We Don't might be able to, to do place. it during the next night. Wait. The one question is about movement time. Because we have to come over here, then over here, and then swing up to the top. Go, but I, go, go. I see a That's world fine. where this is actually happening. Armed and ready. Got it. Ah. 
careful. <laughs> Bunky. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, don't don't do that. No, no. You were gonna we're gonna land you guys. Thank you. I appreciate how interested you were in the demise of our enemies, but you gotta be careful about your movement. Oh, are you gonna end up on the wrong side? No. Wow. We need to remember this guy. He's the first competent SCV that I've ever had. Hmm. I'm not going to do this in the sub one hour, am I? Nope. <laughs> no resets, though. It's just one prolonged period of pain. Hey, that's an alliteration. I love alliterations. You can tell because my name is Grant Does Games. I'm going to bring a couple more of these forward because, as I said, it takes more money to repair this way with everybody. However, right now we have $7,000 in the bank. And I would rather guarantee that we live than anything else. I think that there's no way that we burn through this entire bank unless there is a catastrophic collapse. And the easiest way for things to catastrophically collapse is if your bunkers explode. And we can always refund our bunkers if we need. Because unlike NFTs, when you buy a bunker, you are getting a pretty decent fraction of its initial value as resale value, which is phenomenal. Invest in bunkers today. And in fish theorem, you gotta invest in fish. Ah! No, oh, they're so big and powerful. Ooh, that was a scary one. <laughs> oh my, we're fine. Oh, I wanted to ask everybody. This is completely random. Hello to everybody that has made it to the 42 minute and 20 second mark. By the way, congratulations! I really appreciate you uh, having nothing better to do. Because I sure don't. I, how, how are people feeling about the Age of Mythology remake announcement? I am skeptical in that, or we're not skeptical, but I am, I'm excited. I really like Age of Mythology. It's one of my favorite RTSs ever made. And I would love a real good remake on it. Honestly, I would kill for a sequel on that game. Like, dear... Dear whoever is in charge of Age of Mythology, let me design your game for you. <laughs> I'll make you a really cool RTS that will sell really well because it is a franchise with so much flippin' potential. I actually think that from a pure potential standpoint, it has more potential than Age of Empires does. Because, you know, a lot of RTS, in my personal opinion, the appeal comes from really cool stuff. And the real world, unfortunately, is not nearly as cool as literal myth things like going around and mything you. <laughs> mything you. <laughs> you know what I mean, though, right? So I really hope that this remaster does well. All of the Age of Empires remasters, from what I understand, have been pretty well received. I'm not the biggest Age of Empires fan myself. So I didn't really, like, I didn't have a good point of comparison. Is it being made by the same people that did the Age of Empires remakes? Because, I don't know, I'm just, I'm pretty jazzed for it. But I am concerned about one weird thing. And that's that the music was, like, pretty generic. I don't know if it was, like, a remix of a track from Age of Mythology or something, or if it was just, just some random trailer music, but it felt really like generic movie trailer music. And I always try to use things like that as a judge for how a game is going to be when it is being remastered. Because a lot of a remaster isn't even about how good the game is. It's about do the people that are developing it get it. And I think that one of the things that's actually powerful, like people rip on, oh, you're using nostalgic music, blah, 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 blah. But if you know when and where to throw down the nostalgic music in like a trailer, I think that says that you understand the franchise to a decent degree, at least way better than the, oh, I put in generic trailer music. 
And I understand that a lot of the time it's not the company that makes trailers. Like, it's a, they contract it out. That's how movies work as well. But, like, that doesn't excuse it at all. Because they could just make a trailer. They, <laughs> that's what they used to do, you know? And it always worked out really well back then because the people that made the game made the trailer and they knew everything and understood it. Like, that's why all the StarCraft trailers are so frippin' good, man. Like, when's the last time you went back and watched the Heart of the Swarm trailer with all that awesome stuff? Was it recently? If the answer is yes, you're gonna go, yeah, that trailer was awesome, I completely agree. And if it wasn't a recent, did you just go, oh man, I should go watch that after this video? Just saying. Like, back in the day, those trailers were so good. And being able to properly remaster a trailer, I think, is important. And I didn't feel like they did that there. It just, it feels kind of generic, and that scares me. Because I, it's just... The thing about remakes is, I feel like most games will only ever have one chance at a remake. Or a remaster, or a relaunch, or any of those re's. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not good. This is a lot of stuff. Well, I'm going to pull this guy. I'm going to land this over here to see if we can make it harder to bust. I'm losing some of the fire bats. That is okay. We just have two minutes that we have to hold. I'm going to put this guy on hold position right here just so we always have a guy on this side. We have a lot to deal with. Let's uh, start making a bunch of SCVs. There's so many Marines here. That is the core thing. Very, very hard to deal with. The Aberrations also have 2-2, two -two, so they're not taking a whole lot of damage from the War Pigs anymore. Which is making it harder. So we're going to try to take the Aberrations down with the Spartan Company because they're the ones that do the high damage. Let's hit this Aberration while it is stuck in the back. And just don't lose the Spartan Company. We got it. I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that that wave was the final obstacle in this mission. 30 seconds remaining long as we don't die. Careful. Remember that the remaining buildings are mostly very weak. Okay, go, 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 go. This is it. All right. Let's move out and take it to Take it to Darn right we do. Uh, you guys are going to just make sure this area is fortified just in case. The odds that I mess this up are very low, but very low is not zero. I love how the stuff is flammable. A lot of stuff in StarCraft is flammable, and it's just awesome. It's one of those things that you don't really notice while you're playing a lot of the time, but when it's gone, it feels lower quality. And those are the things that matter a lot in games that they're very difficult to discuss because, as I said, a lot of the times it's like it's normal, right? That it feels like, of course, it's going to burn on fire. Your brain says that, but when it's gone, it's just like, oh, the tree doesn't burn. I don't know. It's a weird thing. Expectations in video games. Because I think there's a whole lot of the, like, making things great. represent reality is completely under-appreciated. And it's one of the most important things you can do. Unless you're trying to make a game like Ghost Simulator that's just, like, wild and out there. But, of course, it takes a whole lot of time. Which is one of the reasons that stuff like engines are widely used is because, you know, it doesn't, like, burn stuff down. But it at least can, you know, figure out a good representation of physics for you. And that's important for games to feel good and feel reasonable but when you have a game that feels really good in the physics department you're just like yeah of course it does that's how it's supposed to feel it's a very weird kind of aspect of things and thank goodness we did this <laughs> oh my gosh what a mission it was 
It was just a lack of damage. I lost 51 SCVs. I don't think that I lost a single mercenary until that very last night. Maybe I lost like 49 SCVs and those two devil dogs. I think that was it. We survived nine nights and that is that. Is that. My friends, I'm not going to keep you for any longer because, my goodness, I will, I'll get the researches at the beginning of the next mission. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Peace!